I mean, I promise. Come on, mushroom. Come on. Look, it's a stick. Fetch. Come on, mushroom. Get that stick. Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It's right there, room 10. On the second floor. Listen, I don't want to freak you out, okay? But you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Really? You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody, to- you're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Feels good. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official dart dot? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. Wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. I'm gonna miss him. Me too. Okay. Time to hit the sack. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. Okay, good. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. Shouldn't have any trouble from them. Do you think it will have net flats? 
or a jacuzzi? Dude, this is some hotel, not an Airbnb. If you're lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. Good. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV, too. And there's a balcony. Whoa, this is nice. And warm. <sighs> this bed is soft. What about this one? Uh, not bad. But too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Want to play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, but ready? I am so ready to beat you. Aw, shoot. I told you, man. Can we play another round? Come on. Sure, I mean, you're going to lose again, but suit yourself. Not this time. I won! <laughs> the pet is mine! I knew I'd beat you. See? And I knew you'd brag about it. Don't be salty. It's a fair win. Yeah, it is. I surrender. All right. I'm gonna run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you, Pidpen. I wouldn't be so sure, cave boy. I'll call you when it's ready. I'll be right here. Of course you will. Oh, cool. Hot Dog Man is on. Oh, I remember this episode. Weird, it's on so late. Hey, can you turn that down, please? Aww. Okay, okay. A cheap souvenir for a cheap trip. This cigarette with Lila seems so far away. So, what's up? The buns want to catch Hot Dog Man and turn him into sausage meat. Oh, yeah. The giant meatball attacks in the next episode, right? Yes, and they get to meet the city mayo. <sighs> Man, it's been ages. Why don't you watch Hot Dog Man with me anymore? I'm too old, dude. And I've seen it so many times. <laughs> okay, Grandpa Sean. Feels so good to sit down and watch TV. <laughs> True. Okay, I'm done here. You're missing the best part. I know, but I gotta take care of the bath. Don't forget you're up soon. I know. What's that? Uh, it was in Brody's car. He gave it to you. Uh, well, uh, yeah. You stole it from him? I don't know. It looked cool, and you stole before, so I thought... No, man. Stealing is bad. We only do it if we really need it. Okay? 